Good morning from Tokyo, Japan. So today I thought I would finally film only eating kombini food for 24 hours in Japan because I feel like it's just one of those videos that like every YouTuber needs to do. And the fact that I'm in Japan all the time and don't do it, like for the whole day I'm just going to be eating food from the convenience store which honestly is so easy in Japan because you can literally get everything you'd ever want from the convenience store. So I think we're going to go to Family Mart. I thought we'd just go to the closest company so I can get my coffee right away and get something to eat and get started on our day. Good morning Skytree! So you can literally see Family Mart from my building. It's Family Mart's right there. Alright, so here's Family Mart. Okay, so first coffee is like at the front here. So I will be getting coffee in a sec, but since you get the cup at the end, I'm going to go get my food first. Well, I guess my plan on ever getting onigiri um, for breakfast is gone because literally, like, the whole, like, the whole thing is empty. Ooh. Uh, I think this is one of the new middle pans. It's like cream middle pan. Before anything, let me go wash my hands. All right, so for breakfast, as promised, I got coffee, which I got a large thinking large in Japan won't be that big, but it kind of is. I just got like black coffee and I have milk here, but I'm not cheating because I actually did buy this milk at Family Mart um, on the first day I was here. Oof. Let me just take a sip first. Uh, breakfast from Family Mart. I did get a tea to like sip on throughout the day because they just have like packs of green tea or jasmine or oolong or whatever for like 100 yen and it's just so easy. Oh, they didn't give me a long straw. They usually give you this like super long straw that you can just like stick in this and then drink straight from it. I assumed they would give me one, but I guess they didn't. Main event for breakfast is French toast, which I know is like pretty basic, but honestly it looks really good and I was kind of craving something pretty simple. I also got a famichiki, even though it is like breakfast-ish. I mean, it's brunch time, but it is their famous like fried chicken famichiki. I feel like I had to get it to properly like represent Family Mart because they're so famous for their famichiki. I just got the regular one. There was only one left. Snagged it. And then if I'm not too full from those, I saw this the other day and was like, I have to try it. So um, I ended up getting it whether I end up eating it like for breakfast or not. It is the pumpkin souffle put pudding. So they have a regular souffle pudding, but this is pumpkin flavor because it's autumn time. So I was like, gotta try it because I did enjoy their regular one. Pudding with like souffle cake on top. I did get snacks, which like I don't exactly know when I'm gonna eat them, but I just like couldn't resist. Crunchy ume plums, like pickled plums. This is one of my favorite snacks ever to get in Japan. And this time I do plan to try like every single one from every convenience store. And then I got the Puringi corn snack spicy cod roe flavor. Little like snacks. So I thought that's a little like unique to Japan. From memory, it was 1,013 yen for all of that, which is like definitely more than what the average person would spend for breakfast at a kombini. But that's the total for breakfast plus snacks, I guess, plus drinks. So in Japan, convenience stores are actually convenient from the price and what they sell and everything. First, let's try the French toast. Oh, so thick. Like my... Mm. I think this is what I wanted. It's very simple, but a little bit of sweetness, a little creamy. Oh. Mm. Sometimes simple is just good, you know? All right, let's take a bite of the samichi. I'm supposed to cut it from this little opening here. So then you can eat it like this without dirtying your hands. Let's try it. Mm, I do wish it was a little hotter actually. Since it was the last one, it probably wasn't as fresh. It's still good. You have to try it at least once if you're in Japan, I think. It's, why am I filming at such like, a bad angle? 
That's better. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and try this because why the hell not? We're in Japan. Ooh, look at this guy. Ooh. Oh no. I'm gonna try just the cake first, guys. I can't reach the pudding. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, I think this is the best thing out of <laughs> what I've eaten so far. There we go. The bite of like pudding and cake and cream. Mmm. Yeah. The souffle cake is like so moist. Mm. I might actually like the pumpkin version better than the regular version, if I'm honest. But the pumpkin taste isn't that strong. Yum. Okay, so it's almost two o'clock. Kind of late, but it's usually around the time I eat um, lunch anyways. So, thinking for lunch, we might try to go to a Lawson. What's the closest Lawson? Oh, metro. I feel like a Metro one's not going to be that. No, it's tiny. After some research, um, it is going to be like a 10, 15 minute walk to the closest like decent Lawson because the closest one is a Metro, which means it's like inside the train station, so it's tiny. So we're going to take a bit of a walk, which is totally fine. I need to get my steps in today. Let's get going. I did get changed, so I look slightly more like a human being. Before we head out, let's have a little snack. I'm going to have the crunchy ume plums. Mmm. Mmm, okay. I really liked the, were they Lawson? My mum brought them from Japan. I'll have to check which ones they are. I really like those. These ones, I must say, are a little bit on the sweeter side. I think I like them more like salty and sour. I mean, it's still good, but it's definitely a little sweeter, so. Interesting. <sighs> I need a drink now. <laughs> Sky tree. River. I saw this way was only like a minute longer than the other way and I can just walk by the river here. All right, we made it, you guys. Next stop, Lawson. Need to get myself a basket. So I was really feeling like onigiri, right? They really don't have much once again. They have slightly more. So I think I'll definitely try to snag an onigiri. We have this Ichikape one, which is like the Lawson brand. Wait, what's the difference? There's so many. Oh, this one's the last one. Ooh, we do need tea. Ojicha, mugicha, genmaicha. What is this? Karbis apricot? Apricot? Wait, yuzu honey tea. No, I want all of them. Oh, and they've got karbis soda apple. Ugh, stop. It was the Lawson one my mum bought. This was the good one. This one's my favourite so far. So I was going to go back to the Airbnb and eat my lunch there, but honestly, like, what better place can I just sit down and chill to have lunch than right here by a river and right in front of Sky Tree? <laughs> like, doesn't get much better than this, right? Not a great angle, but lunch is from Lawson. First, I got an onigiri, as I promised, and it is ikura shoyuzuke, which is, what, is a salmon roe? The little eggs, ikura, which I was obsessed with ikura when I was a kid. It was like my favorite sushi, like, ingredient. And then I'm finally trying a sarada chicken, salad chicken where it's literally like a steamed chicken. It's already pre-cooked, so you can eat it as it is or put it on a salad or whatever. They're really popular for people who are dieting in Japan because it's like obviously high protein, like low fat. They flavor it too. This one is plum shiso flavor, which obviously I would only be able to get in Japan. So I got this and I'm going to eat it straight from the pack. And then edamame. Everybody knows. It sounds like it's like a baby duck or something cracking. Did you hear that? I ended up getting this coffee, the Uchikape Kodaware Kafe Ore. So that's like coffee with milk. And then also the Boss Yuzu Hachimitsu Tea as well. <laughs> what is that? Is it a baby girl? I don't know where it's coming from. Last but not least, of course, I got dessert. Mont Blanc Dorayaki. <gasps> so excited. So in total for this meal, 1200 yen. Ish. I'll put on the screen how much it costs. We're gonna try everything. Of course, I brought my hand wipes. First, I'm gonna take a little sip. Mm. Japan's like the only time I drink sweetened iced coffee, but it's so good. First, take a bite of the ikura. 
chicken. Mm. First bite, there is no no if but to be seen. This is not gonna lie, I wish they filled it up a little more. <laughs> Can you see it? Mm. Oh, it's, yeah. Open my other mummies. Oh, there's a decent amount in there, dude. I don't know if I'm gonna eat it. Good choice. Almost kind of the most anticipated one is the chicken for me. People do just like snack on it like this. Like the gym bros here, instead of eating bananas, they'll eat like salad chicken. Mmm. Okay. It's like surprisingly soft. For some reason I thought it'd be harder. They have so many different flavors. You would not get bored of like eating this every day. And it's like just over 100 calories and 20 grams of protein. Quickly try this. Yuzu and honey, oh. Mm. You know what? It's not as sweet as I thought it was going to be, and it has a bit more tea flavor. I'm all about it. Last but not least, we're going to eat our dessert of Mongura Dorayaki. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's got like whipped cream in the middle, and then it's got the chestnut cream, which is the Mont Blanc, and then it's inner Dorayaki. Mmm. Oh my god, it's like so much fluffier than I thought. Ooh. Is it chestnut? Um, it's got like anko, which is like paste, I guess. Like usually it's a red bean paste. It might be chestnut paste though. It's good. Mm. And not to be the typical Asian, but like for how much cream and stuff this there is, it's not too sweet. Like it's the perfect level of sweetness that I could easily eat the whole thing. <laughs> A little snippet of talking to Dilger. <laughs> it's about seven o'clock, so I think we'll go get um, dinner at Seven Eleven. At Seven Eleven, you'll go to Seven Eleven. Oh my gosh! I've been to Seven Eleven a couple times when I was at my grandparents' place, but I did only go in and get like one bottle of tea. So this time I'm getting like. Yeah. I should be talking to this. Sorry, I was talking to like <laughs> Let's get it. Let's get it. Please enjoy a snippet of Sky Tree at night time. It's looking purple right now. The last company of the day is Seven Eleven. Ted on it. Get my basket. All right. Oh, this one's actually slightly bigger than I thought. I don't have solid plans for what I want, but I want like something semi-substantial I guess not just like an onigiri you know so let's have a look at what like meal options they've got you know what I am gonna get myself a drink because why the hell not I really like horoyoi they're like weak but taste nothing like alcohol hence why I love it of course they've got the classic strong zero everybody likes it because it gets you effed up really easily see they even have options of just like a grilled fish in a pack and not just one type but like look how many different types they've got also the variety of frozen foods they have diced ganache chocolate on top So I'm back with dinner. It is definitely a random assortment of things. I got this from the frozen section. It is fried eggplant with grated radish. Yum. Kimchi sampler set because I was just craving kimchi. Yuzu kaoru ataka ode o o o odejiru. Is that right? Not somen soup, but soup with somen, shiitake, fish paste, and bonito broth. It looks really like, I don't know, light but yum and like refreshing. Gyoza. This was also from the frozen section. So I do I do love that about like Japanese convenience stores where you can just like pick and choose like little things and they're all small portions because they always think about just like the single person in mind which is nice so you don't have to like get huge portions that you can't eat. Saying that obviously I eat um, a 
a fair amount. I honestly don't think it's gonna be yum. I just don't, but <laughs> they are mochi, like dango with chocolate paste inside. But look, they're like Halloween colors. It's black, purple, and orange. And I just thought it was like cute. <laughs> and then of course I gotta get ice cream. So I got this rich matcha ice cream bar. Oh, and I did get myself a drink. I got the Horoyoi Passion Punchy limited edition flavor. My aunt actually was drinking it yesterday and she sent me a message and was like, oh, this is pretty good. So you know what? Sure, I'll try it. 500 watts for three and a half. All right, well, everything's ready. So we got the salmon, the eggplant, kimchi, gyoza, and I bought this rice at a different company. I probably don't need it, but you know, it just will just go so well with rice. First things first. Kampai! Whoa, oh, it's like full passion fruit. Honestly, it tastes like a passion fruit soda in Australia. <laughs> That's the kind of taste it has. One that I'm kind of most excited about is this salmon. Actually, a decent amount of <laughs> noodles in there. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's a very, like, gentle, subtle flavor, but mm, so good. I got a little mushroom in that. Oh my god, I don't remember what you call this. Oh look, chikua janaish. Kamaboko! Kamaboko, that's what it's called. <laughs> I just noticed I have a light, which might help um, shed some light on the situation. Let's try this nasu eggplant with daikon oroshi, radish. Mmm, mmm. Holy shit. Cucumber kimchi. Mmm. -mm. Man, simple is best. And lastly, let's try the gyoza. Looks pretty legit. I just have a little bit of soy sauce there. Mmm. 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 You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get my gyoza and then I'm gonna grab a piece of kimchi. I'm gonna stack it on top. Oh, look at that. Mmm. 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 Okie doke, so I think I'm ready for dessert now. First we're gonna try the Halloween mochi. Oh, I should have taken a picture for Instagram story. Let me do that. By the way, if you're not following me already on Instagram, it's Tina Tanaka Harris. And you should be, because you get all the real-time Japan updates. You know what? Like, I thought there was a lot of options at 7-Eleven, but a lot of it was, like, ice creams that they have, like, at every single store. So, wasn't super exciting, if I'm honest. I feel like going to the grocery stores are always the best option in Japan, but I feel like most tourists don't. They just end up going to the company. If you can go to an actual, like, local grocery store, do it. <laughs> Adorable multicolored mochi. It's not bad, but it's chocolate. And I do definitely prefer mochi with like anko, red bean, or like the classic flavors. You can kind of see the chocolate like mousse in there. And now this, I don't doubt will be delicious. Mm. Ready for the ASMR? Oh, there wasn't even like a crunch to it. Mmm. Very matcha. I love matcha. If you love matcha, you'll like it. They literally call it okui matcha, which koi means like rich, rich matcha flavor. And yeah, of course it's good. It's matcha. <laughs> but yeah, thank you for watching my 24 hours of eating only kombini food. Maybe you got some ideas of what to try in Japan next. I'll show you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm.